Hello and welcome. I am Conan Librarian with Conan ZDC, Easy Dad Carry. And today I'm going to be doing something kind of fun. I'm going to be doing a challenge. Something you might notice about all of this here is it's very thin. What I'm actually going to be doing is a slim wallet or slim pouch carry challenge. So what this comes from, recently I did a review on some Mangarista products. I really liked them, I'm actually gonna show something off, but I actually picked up some more Mangarista stuff because I really like it and I wanted to see what I might be able to do. So I got a couple things here. First off, so I've opened the bag just to see what, you know, how it looked from the outside, but I haven't actually opened anything yet. I wanted to open this first and show this off. So in the last video I did, and maybe I'll drop a link here, uh, I talked about the Mangarista heavy duty keychains. I got another pack of these to give to my wife to give to her friends at work because she's been giving these to nurses and they've been a huge hit. So while I'm not gonna use one, uh, I personally use the one that actually clips to the belt itself. I have one of these I modified a little bit for my carry. Uh, but this has been a huge hit with nurses just because it's so heavy duty. It carries everything that I honestly didn't realize nurses carry. So these are awesome. Uh, if you are someone that carries or uses a badge reel with a lot of stuff on it, uh, this is made for you. So I got a pack of these honestly just so I could give to my wife to give to her nurse friends and doctor friends at work because she works in a hospital and all day hospitals are filled with staff who wear badge reels that are failing, tearing, breaking. Uh, yeah, these badge reels are awesome. I clip my little carabiner one to my belt every day for work. They're great. Now, that's not what this one is about, but I wanted to show this off because like I said, if you check out my last video about the Mangarista badge reel keychain, which I recommend you do because they're awesome, I didn't actually physically have one in hand because I'd already given them away. Now again though, that's not what this challenge is about. This challenge is about a slim wallet carry. So I specifically picked this out because I want to give this a try. Uh, Mangarista, I'm not sure what... Uh, I, I mean, I know where it's made. These are made in China. I'm not sure where specifically the company is from. Uh, but the logo life is simple, but never lack of surprises. I'm not quite sure what that means, but if you look at their other stuff, let me see here. I just put it down. Here it is. Uh, so on the back of this, and you can't see it, but I'll read it real quick. It says, subvert your imagination, which is, I think the Mangarista slogan uh, on the back of the larger badge reel. It says, impossible is nothing, which is kind of neat. So, inspirational, I guess. But I haven't opened this yet. I chose this because I just wanted to see how this would work. So what I'm going to do, open it up, do a quick reaction, and then pause and honestly look for, I know I showed off a couple, but look for some supplies that I think would fit, that would feel good, and uh, go from there. I like that it comes sealed. That's kind of neat. Uh, the whale is cute. I chose the this one specifically. It's kind of a neat wrapping. I don't know what Glatt Coberry is. Might just be the company. Uh, so this is, I chose the one. It's leather and it's got this elastic pouch on the front. So this is my standard wallet that I carry every day. You can see it's really not that much bigger. I was kind of worried that it would be kind of bulky. Uh, the other thing I want to do I'm going to weigh my regular wallet. All right, so my regular wallet without cash uh, is just about three and a half ounces. So that's what I carry in my back pocket every day, plus or minus an ounce or two at the most. Uh, this guy, the wallet itself comes in at just over an ounce, so that's not too terrible. Uh, Honestly, right out of the gate, I kind of like this. It feels like there might be something inside of here. Um, but the outside, let's see here. 
I'm not gonna put my ID in it, but right up front, uh, an easy, ooh, I like that a lot, an easy ID pouch. Um, it's not sliding out, which is good. It's staying right in there, but it's not too hard to get in or out, which if you've ever dealt with these before, honestly, I hate, I've tried and tried and I've carried stuff that has it, but these never really work for me, but that's really not too bad to put something in and out of there. Uh, on the back, it's got one main pouch here. See how deep that is. It's about all, just about all the way down. And then on the outside is again, mostly covered, which really isn't too big of a deal. Cause if you notice, you know, most of my carries really kind of show the same way. So putting a few cards in here and then we'll throw something in the front. That's really not too bad. Uh, the leather itself, it says it's leather, and it feels like it, but it is super soft. Like, this thing I picked up because it was dirt cheap, um, and if or when it fails, it's not really going to break my heart. You can see this thing's had a lot of love. Little magnetic money clip on there, but... Um, yeah, this is super soft, so that's kind of cool. Uh, does have a... Let's see here. You know what, I'm just gonna leave this stuff in as I build this out, just so we can kind of see how it looks and how it bulks up. Uh, the outside has this little clip and maybe, let me see here, there we go. And put a little clip on here. I'd probably wanna put something a little bit tougher, one of those like 100 pound little mini carabiners uh, and then clip it to something tougher, but a uh, small carabiner can fit through here. So if I just want to hang it off of me, because, well, like I said, I thought maybe I was going to end up hanging it, but really it doesn't take up that much more pocket space in general. Uh, I, that's pretty tough in there too. For this being leather, the stitching feels good and looks good. Uh, the eyelet is solid in there. So I like that a lot. And then on the inside, I'll be honest, the zipper seems a little bulky. I'd almost like a lower profile zipper for something like this. Um, over time, I may even take the tab itself off and replace it with something maybe a little bit softer. If this is gonna ride in my pocket, I don't know that I want this possibly poking me in the butt if I accidentally sit down on the zipper the wrong way. So maybe replacing this with some sort of softer pull tab of some type. Uh, but the inside, that's what that bulge I was feeling, uh, is just a basic pouch. Uh, yeah, that still looks like leather. Now I don't know, you know, maybe not super premium, but still decent quality. The stitching in there, if you could see, is actually really good too. I'm pretty impressed with the quality just out of the box. Um, I, I would say, as far as the look of it, I chose the black one because it is, well, I really don't mind the style. It might be a little feminine. And when you look at all the stuff on their site, say on Amazon, it really seems like it's marketed more toward women. And honestly, I don't really care. If something is functional, it could be pinks and sparkly. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, you've seen that I carry some stuff that may not be the most masculine. doesn't really bother me. What I care about is functionality more than anything. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pause here. I'm going to find a few supplies that I think would be good for just a pocket carry. Like I said, this is not necessarily a... Um, well, maybe it'll be not necessarily going to replace my wallet per se, but see what I can put in here that's practical that may actually turn this into my um, well maybe turn into my new wallet EDC uh, let's see what fits and see what's smart all right and jump cut so I said I was gonna find some stuff figure out what I wanted to put in this and see how everything fits and I've actually shot a couple videos of this wallet here over the last couple weeks, and I really realized that 
well, none of it kind of made sense. The best thing to do would be to just carry it and see how it works. So this is actually about two weeks, almost three weeks now after the initial video. And I have to say so far, I love this wallet. So a couple things, we're gonna start off here. Total weight, original wallet was I think about 3.5 ounces. This guy comes in at 2.67. Now, I don't have all my cards in it because I'm not trying to show off my name and credit card numbers. However, even with the cards, it's still lighter. The other wallet had that magnetic money clip on it, which honestly, I don't carry a lot of cash, so that was just extra bulk and weight. As far as the capacity itself and carrying on the outside, I really like it, and I've had a lot of cards actually on the outside in this stretch pocket here. And after a couple weeks, it still really held its shape well. And even in the front here where I've been keeping my ID and mostly I can just show it when I need to if I have to take it out, the front is yet to stretch or tear anything. I will say um, if it's gotten really warm and I've had this in my pocket, sometimes the ID is a little sticky to pull out of the front, but honestly not too bad. The other concern I had was that this zipper here might poke me in the butt, but honestly, I haven't had any problems. I carry it down like this with this facing me and I really haven't had any issues. Now I haven't had any call yet to hook this onto a lanyard or anything like that but as far as the extra length of it or anything it still feels really good and I still like the option to attach this to something if need be. What I'm going to do now is just get into it although first I will say there is one issue I have with this wallet is that the thread started to come a little bit loose around the zipper itself. Just this side so far, you see it's starting to fray a little bit here. So I actually snipped it and singed it a little bit. It, really not a terrible thing. I mean, it wasn't gonna go too far simply because the metal's there, but I just wanted to take care of it before it got too, uh, too unraveled. So to go into the inside, what I've got, I really treated this as, um, a small supply deposit as opposed to being you know a big carry a big loadout big carry i mean i've got something like this my larger backup pouch video of this on my channel take a look i carry a lot of fun stuff in here this is more just an emergencies and essentials because my other original wallet i really didn't carry much i had a pen insert and some kevlar cord as far as what i'm able to carry in this and still feel really good which that's another point I want to make. The original wallet came in at almost an inch with that money clip, whereas this Mangarista comes in at just about, still under two thirds of an inch, which is pretty good. Inside, I have a few supplies, not gonna to take too long, but cash, now cash I could tuck on the outside. I really don't carry cash too much, so that money clip really wasn't doing too much for me but I'm still able to stash a couple bucks inside, which is convenient. A dude wipe, which dude wipes are in all my videos. They're great, go use dude wipes. They're fantastic. The one problem I had with this initially is that a small packet like this is only going to compress so much. It's airtight and you can't compress air. You can't change the volume of air. You can only displace it, but it's so far honestly fit pretty well and the thing has stayed pretty slim. Besides that, a little bit of first aid. If you've seen any of my other stuff, you know that first aid, first aid is a big one for me. This is just gonna take care of a couple nicks, a couple cuts, but it's slim, it packs easy. This is about five to eight feet, I think, of Kevlar 50 pound cord. Stuff is great if I need to, say, replace a shoelace or just tie something together, secure something. I've showed off this trick before. This is just a bread tie able to wind it around and I haven't had this come apart and I have some super awesome thread if need be. Uh, the other couple things here, some bread ties, mostly for cable management at work actually and I mean you could do other things but I've used a few of these at work and it's just super convenient to have and they pack flat and they're free. A uh, little zip tie in case I really need to secure something. I haven't used a zip tie yet. I will say all these things in my wallet over the past couple weeks, I have actually used. I've used a dude wipe and replaced it. I've used a band-aid and replaced it. Caches come in super handy. Like I said, the bread ties I've used a few at work. All of these little things, they're not gonna save the day. 
but they make my life easy, they're super flat, and they pack just fine. The last thing is, and I've showed this off in a couple videos, this is a hardware store knockoff of the Vitronox. Everyone's pretty familiar with that. So I popped the scales off, so it means that I don't have the toothpick or the uh, tweezers, but honestly, that's not what I'm looking for. Something like this, as small as this is, you can see it's really not that much wider than the wipe itself that I carry in here but I still have a little knife, I have a little nail file, and also tiny little scissors, which have come in handy more often than not. Sometimes you don't necessarily want to pull out a knife, and sometimes a knife doesn't always work to snip something. And that packs super thin, super easy. So overall impression on this wallet, Mangarista wallet is my new everyday carry. I know initially I said I didn't know how I would feel about this. I said I didn't know if this would replace my regular wallet but uh i've got to say this is my new wallet everyday carry for the options that it has as far as carrying type for the quality for the capacity and for the feel and the look of it uh, i think mankarist honestly is a great product to carry i mean i really liked the badge reels i will say this wallet is something i would recommend to anyone who wants something that's quality something that's got capacity and something that has function. So for me personally, Mangarista uh, gets an A plus again. So as always, thank you very much for spending your time with me. Stay safe, be prepared and have a great day.